Hey guys, today we're talking about the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. I mentioned this on Instagram and a lot of you were surprised and so was I that they've come out with a new version of the Super Sizer that many of us know and love. Packaging wise, you know, same size, same color, but the print on the original is in green and it's purple on the Super Sizer Fibers. Just a very brief backstory on the Super Sizer Mascara. This is like my holy grail favorite mascara. I love the way it builds length. It seems to really easily separate my lashes. It also holds a curl with my lashes, which is kind of a rare thing for a lot of mascaras to do. And I don't feel like it smudges off or flakes off throughout the day. So it's really like checking all the boxes. As far as the brush, I've heard, you know, some people really like it, some people not so much. It basically has a couple of completely flat sides that are just there to hold a little bit of product. I don't find that they're ever over loaded with product, but they're flat in order to like allow you to lay some of that down and then twist the brush and comb through it with the little comby sides. So two comby sides, two flat sides. And in my opinion, that brush paired with this formula, it seems to just be the right equation. You know, it works really well. This is kind of rich and creamy, but it's not like wet and inky and really liquidy like some mascaras might be. Now who knows how you actually pin down these claims but on the original Super Sizer, it says 400% corner to corner volume. And yes, I bought a new Super Sizer because I was just running out of my old one. And I'm thinking I can't compare an almost used up mascara to a brand new one. So I went and got new here so I could be kind of on the same playing field. But again, corner to corner volume for full fanned out lashes. Now the Super Sizer Fibers also has that 400% claim, but it's focusing more on volume and especially length. So if you're not familiar with fibers in a mascara, they are like itty bitty teeny tiny short like hair type particles that will um, kind of be within that mascara formula and as they apply they kind of attach onto the ends of your lashes and extend up for even more length. Sometimes you may not even be aware that the mascara you're using has these particles and then I find with others I can definitely tell that they're in there. Maybe they're longer or there's just more of them and you can pull out the brush and practically just see them hanging off of your brush. With this mascara I don't think those fibers are extremely obvious and the form formula appears to be, you can just tell by looking at the brush, it seems to be a little thicker than the original. But outside of that, I mean, it's the same brush, it's the same size of tube, it's the same recommendation for application with getting that flat side in and then twirling the brush up. So which one is better? Did they make a big improvement with this? Because I already thought the original built great length and separation and curl and all those things I mentioned. What I would say I've noticed is that this new one builds the length a little bit faster, but I feel like both can take me to the same point. Because even though this original one may not contain those little fibers, it still builds on itself really well. Assuming you are applying your next coat and not letting the first coat get completely dry, you know, just giving it a few seconds and then going back and applying more, it really does build off of itself nicely. That's never been a complaint of mine. I think it does it. It still looks natural. And with the new one, I think the key differences would be I'm getting the length a little bit faster. I'm noticing sing pretty much the same look of separation, maybe just a teeny bit less. It seems to hold the curl of my lashes the very same way as the other one, um, but one thing I noticed was a little bit of under eye, like it just looked a little bit grayish down here where I had applied it on the lower lashes the other day. So I've got one on each eye. Does anybody have any guesses on which is which? I'm gonna jump into the application now and let you know that the regular Super Sizer is on this eye. I don't feel like I put too much thought into the whole technique of like twisting the wand and you know going up through my lashes that way I, it's kind of become a no-brainer technique for me at this point so I just know that if I feel like I need a little more product I just kind of go to the flat side and then continue combing 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 up through with the comb side and I applied two coats of this to my lashes I felt like I had good separation really good length and honestly with this being brand new it's probably going to get even better as a little bit of the product gets used up out of the tube and I would expect maybe the same would happen Happen for this other one as well. So here's the Super Sizer Fibers Mascara on my left eye. I felt like I noticed more length 
like instantly with this mascara. However, when it was all said and done with the application, two coats of this, it didn't really surpass the length of the original on my other eye. So I found that interesting that it didn't really, in the end, seem to go above and beyond, but it did do the job just a little bit faster for length. So I'm feeling pretty good about them both, seeing as they both can hold a curl for me all day. I was keeping a really close eye on that the other day. Only cons to this would be a little under eye smudging, but I probably wouldn't make a habit of using this on the lower lash line day to day. I would usually use my Clump Crusher water resistant. And I just felt like as I applied, I get a little bit better just lash separation the look of more lashes because they're being so nicely separated. With the original, um, with this, I think maybe just the thickness of the formula, it doesn't seem to be doing quite as good a job with that, but it's a very close call. So if you're browsing the stores and you're curious about the fibers version of this mascara, you think you might want to pick it up, I don't think you'll be disappointed, but I also don't think you're going to see a massive difference with the original. And if you don't choose to try it, I don't think you're missing out on anything major because they just are so close and the end result seems so similar with them both. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know your experiences in the comments section below. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!